Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an essential topic to discuss Rift Valley Fever. A viral disease that has caused significant outbreaks in the past and has the potential to impact both humans and animals. Join us as we explore the causes, symptoms, prevention, and current research efforts on Rift Valley Fever. What is Rift Valley Fever? Rift Valley Fever RVF, is a viral zoonotic disease that primarily affects animals, such as cattle, sheep, goats, and camels. It is transmitted through the bites of infected mosquitoes and can also infect humans. The disease is characterized by flu-like symptoms in humans and can cause severe health issues in animals, including abortions in pregnant animals. History of Rift Valley Fever Rift Valley Fever RVF, has a relatively long history, with notable outbreaks and discoveries spanning several decades. Rift Valley Fever was first identified in the early 20th century during an outbreak in Kenya's Rift Valley in 1930. The disease was isolated from infected sheep during that time. Over the years, RVF continued to cause sporadic outbreaks in various countries across the African continent. Outbreaks have been reported in countries such as Egypt, Sudan, Somalia, Tanzania, and South Africa. In the 1970s, Rift Valley fever expanded its geographical range and caused outbreaks outside Africa. Cases were reported in Saudi Arabia and Yemen, indicating the potential for the virus to spread beyond its original boundaries. Outbreaks in livestock can lead to high mortality rates in young animals and cause abortions in pregnant animals. RVF has the ability to infect humans through contact with infected animals or mosquito bites. In humans, the disease can vary from mild flu-like symptoms to severe forms, including encephalitis and hemorrhagic fever. The spread of RVF beyond Africa raised global health concerns due to its potential to cause widespread epidemics in susceptible areas. Research and Control Efforts Ongoing research efforts have focused on understanding the virus, developing vaccines for animals, and implementing control measures to prevent and manage outbreaks. About Causal Agent of RVF The causative agent of Rift Valley Fever, RVF, is a virus belonging to the genus Flebivirus in the family Phenuiviridae. Its structure consists of Enveloped virus RVFV is an enveloped virus, meaning it has an outer lipid envelope derived from the host cell membrane that surrounds its genetic material. RVFV has a spherical shape, with a diameter of about 80,100 nanometers. Genome The RVFV genome is composed of single-stranded RNA, which acts as its genetic material. The RNA contains the viral genes necessary for replication in the production of viral proteins. Proteins Various proteins include the nucleoprotein, N, which encapsulates the viral RNA, the glycoproteins, GN and GC, which form spikes on the viral surface and play a role in viral entry, and the RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, L, which is crucial for replicating the viral RNA. How Rift Valley Fever Transmits to Human Rift Valley Fever, RVF, can transmit to humans through several routes, with the primary mode of transmission being through the bite of infected mosquitoes. Here's how the transmission occurs. Mosquito-borne transmission. The most common route of transmission to humans is through the bites of infected mosquitoes, particularly species belonging to the Aedes and Culex genera. These mosquitoes become infected after feeding on the blood of infected animals during RVF outbreaks. Direct contact with infected animals. RVF can also spread to humans through direct contact with infected animals, particularly during slaughtering, handling, or assisting with birthing processes of infected livestock. The virus can be present in the blood, tissues, and body fluids of infected animals. Occupational Exposure People who work closely with livestock, such as farmers, veterinarians, and slaughterhouse workers, are at higher risk of contracting RVF through occupational exposure to infected animals. Inhalation in some rare cases, RVF transmission can occur through inhaling aerosols or droplets containing the virus in environments with high levels of viral particles, such as during laboratory accidents or in areas where infected animals are kept in close proximity to humans. It's important to note that RVF is not directly transmitted from person to person, except possibly through contact with infected body fluids in specific circumstances. Pathogenicity of Rift Valley Fever Rift Valley Fever Virus RVFV, can cause a range of clinical manifestations in humans, varying from mild or asymptomatic infections to severe and potentially fatal disease. Here's an overview of the pathogenicity of Rift Valley fever virus in humans. Incubation period. 
The incubation period for Rift Valley fever in humans typically ranges from 2 to 6 days after exposure to the virus. Mild infections. The majority of human infections with RVFV are mild or asymptomatic. People with mild infections may experience flu-like symptoms, such as fever, headache, muscle pain, joint pain, and fatigue. These mild cases often resolve on their own without specific medical intervention. Severe infections. In a small percentage of cases, Rift Valley fever can lead to severe and potentially life-threatening complications. Severe forms of the disease include Hemorrhagic fever. A small percentage of RVF cases can develop into hemorrhagic fever, characterized by bleeding disorders, organ failure, and a higher risk of mortality. Encephalitis. RVFV can also affect the central nervous system, leading to encephalitis, inflammation of the brain. Encephalitis can cause neurological symptoms, including confusion, seizures, and coma. Ocular disease. In some cases, RVFV infection can result in ocular disease, leading to retinal lesions and vision problems. Risk factors. Certain factors can increase the risk of severe disease. Pregnant women infected with RVFV have a higher likelihood of developing severe complications and experiencing adverse outcomes, including miscarriage, stillbirth, or severe birth defects in the newborn. Occupational risk. Individuals who work closely with livestock, such as farmers, veterinarians, and abattoir workers, are at an increased risk of contracting the virus through direct contact with infected animals or their tissues, fluids. What are the symptoms of RVF? The symptoms of Rift Valley Fever, RVF, in humans can vary from mild to severe. In many cases, infected individuals may not show any symptoms at all, or they may experience mild flu-like symptoms that resolve on their own. However, in some cases, RVF can progress to more severe manifestations. Here are the common symptoms of Rift Valley Fever in humans. Mild to moderate symptoms. It include fever, headache, muscle pain, joint pain, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, and dizziness. Severe symptoms. It includes severe headache, photophobia, neck stiffness, confusion, seizures, coma, hemorrhagic manifestations, bleeding from the gums, nose, or other mucous membranes, petechia, small red or purple spots on the skin, and echemosis, large, bruise-like areas on the skin. In pregnant women, RVF can lead to miscarriages, stillbirths, or severe birth defects in newborns. How to diagnose Rift Valley Fever? Diagnosing Rift Valley Fever, RVF, involves a combination of clinical evaluation, laboratory tests, and epidemiological information. Here are the key steps in diagnosing RVF. Clinical Evaluation. Healthcare professionals will assess the patient's medical history and conduct a thorough physical examination to identify symptoms and signs consistent with RVF. The presence of fever, headache, muscle pain, and exposure to potential risk factors, such as contact with infected animals or mosquito bites in RVF-prone areas, will be taken into consideration. Polymerase chain reaction, PCR, PCR is used to detect the presence of RVFV genetic material, RNA, in blood, serum, or other bodily fluids. This test can confirm active infection during the early stages of the disease. Serology. Serological tests detect antibodies produced by the body in response to RVFV infection. Different serological tests, such as ELISA or indirect immunofluorescence assay, IFA, can be used to detect specific RVFV antibodies. Epidemiological information. Information about recent travel, exposure to animals, and the presence of RVF outbreaks in the region can provide valuable clues to aid in the diagnosis. What is treatment for Rift Valley Fever? There is no specific antiviral treatment available for Rift Valley Fever, RVF, in humans. The management of RVF primarily involves supportive care to alleviate symptoms and prevent complications. Here are some key aspects of the treatment for Rift Valley Fever. Symptomatic Relief. Medications such as paracetamol may be prescribed to reduce fever and relieve pain. Fluid and electrolyte balance. Maintaining adequate fluid intake is essential to prevent dehydration, especially in cases with vomiting and diarrhea. Monitoring. Patients with severe forms of RVF or complications, such as encephalitis or hemorrhagic fever, may require close monitoring in an intensive care setting. Hemorrhagic fever management. In cases of hemorrhagic fever, medical interventions to control bleeding and prevent further complications may be necessary. Hospitalization. Severe cases of RVF often require hospitalization for proper medical care and monitoring. 
Pregnant women. Pregnant women infected with RVFV require specialized care and monitoring due to the risk of complications for both the mother and the fetus. How to prevent Rift Valley Fever. Preventing Rift Valley Fever, RVF, involves a combination of measures to reduce the risk of infection in both animals and humans. Mosquito control. Eliminate mosquito breeding sites by getting rid of standing water where mosquitoes lay their eggs. Use mosquito nets and window screens to prevent mosquito bites. Apply mosquito repellents on exposed skin and clothing to reduce the chances of being bitten by infected mosquitoes. Animal health measures. Implement vector control measures to reduce the mosquito population in livestock areas. Quarantine and monitor animals for signs of RVF to prevent the spread of the virus to other animals. Limit exposure to infected animals. Avoid contact with sick or dead animals that may be infected with RVFV. Take precautionary measures when handling animal tissues, blood, and body fluids. Vaccination. Vaccination of susceptible animals, such as livestock, can help prevent RVF outbreaks and reduce the severity of the disease in animals. Travel precautions. If traveling to areas known to have RVF outbreaks, take measures to avoid mosquito bites, such as using mosquito nets and wearing protective clothing. Public awareness. Raise public awareness about RVF, its symptoms, and preventive measures through health education campaigns. Encourage communities to report any unusual animal deaths or suspected RVF cases promptly to local health authorities. Conclusion. Rift Valley Fever is a significant concern for public health and animal welfare. By understanding its transmission, symptoms, and prevention measures, we can take steps to protect ourselves, our livestock, and our communities. That's all for today's video on RVF. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Stay informed, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.